Paris in the fall, the last months of the year and the end of the millennium. The city holds many memories for me, of cafes, of music, of love, and of death. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on around me, but the explosion was to change my life forever. I contemplated crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. Vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. I studied under Dr. Benton. Who is he? Only one of the most brilliant medical minds on this planet. He taught me everything I know about medicine. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. You could be in shock. No alcohol. Okay, you're the doctor. What about the old man? Is he dead? I don't know. I haven't looked at him yet. Some doctor? I'm glad I'm not one of your patients, monsieur. 
Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. How did the old man behave? Well, agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about him, like a guilty husband. Stay. I'm going to look around for evidence. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. I needed a stiff drink, but I hated the taste of brandy. I contemplated crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah ed -Din. 1345. I tried to lift the cover with my fingers, but couldn't gain any leverage. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. Right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm in a Oh, hello. If you're wondering when I got his game, then here's my answer. I bought it. I bought it from Good Old Games. Yeah.